Hello there, I'm Ify, and I'm back for some more computercraft. Today I'll keep on making the Minesweeper. So last time I made all the variables and I declared all the fun well I declared in it which is fully complete. Now I will make display and end game. I'll keep update for one last episode because it is the most complex complex function and I want to keep episodes pretty short. So now let's do display right now. And basically display will display everything you want on the screen. Now, what we want to do is basically display every single pixel in the grid. So for j equal one going to h, yeah. Do and for i equal one to w do and there we go. Now at the beginning of each i loop you want to do term dot set cursor pause pause like that and change the cursor position. So X is pretty easy, you just have to do off plus one. So off is basically the offset which will well basically mean there's a slight offset for the grid. Y is a bit more complicated, which is off plus J because because you want well, to draw every line, of course. Now that that's done, let's actually take care of displaying everything. Now then, uh, there are several cases. There's when there's basically nothing. So this in this case is when you have a when there's nothing, that's when the code is zero, actually. But yeah, actually, I, I'm confusing myself, but yeah, I'll go through each case w as I as I go there. So, if grid at position J, I... Actually, why am I doing that? J, I... Like that, good. Is... Basic wall. Space like that means that you have not clicked on this place and not explored this mine section. That means basically you, well, you haven't done anything on this place. So what we are basically going to display right like that is just a space. However, we want to set the color properly, and we're going to do term dot set background color and the color will be blue I guess we can change that later on if necessary there we go else if that is if there is a mine so if grid at position which will be yeah, J Y J I of course has the value of well, if it's a M, so that would be a mine. Then else if same old same old. There we go. So if we have a mine, it will do term dot set background position. Let's try not to get any mistakes. And the color will be red. should do it and we're going to write a little star this time. Write this little star symbol. Cool. Now we have this case done. Oh in fact there's one little thing I have to do here. There's some other case actually. If the grid uh, or if the grid position actually has U, so that means an unchecked mine, you have to display 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 blue too because otherwise it would indicate where the mine actually is. So if grid has a value of of u like that. And in fact now there's only one more case actually two more cases. If grid like that oops 
position ji to always if it's a zero that means there's nothing if it's zero that means you'll display just a space and otherwise it will display the number itself uh, what we want to do is term dot set background color I know I'm really slow at typing uh, uh, it's a bit frustrating for me because when you want things to be done fast but it doesn't happen so it's it's quite sad like gray yes that should be a good color so if nothing is here you just want to write uh, well just a space cool and finally last case right of position something we can actually actually know is no apostrophes. We want to display the actual value. So grid position ji. There we go. This should be enough to actually display everything. Let me explain very briefly. So first if if the position has not been checked and that it is not a mine which has not been checked, then it will display blue. If a position has M, so if there's a mine, it will, well, a checked mine in fact, it will display a mine. And finally, if anything else, it will display, well, so that basically means if it is a number, it will display the number if it is not zero. So that's that. Now we can go to end game. That will be basically to display all mines. And to do so, it's very easy. We go through the l through everything, and we set the unchecked mines to a visible mine. That's just so you can actually see where the mines were if you do a mistake. So let's do that. How about? How about? <laughs> yeah, right. What we want to do is very easy. Four J equal one to h do and for i equal 1 to w do and there we go and basically if grid position j i has a value of u oh forgot an equal that's bad then and grid ji will take the value of m. Now that should be enough for everything and what I'm going to do for a purpose of a demonstration we'll return true and see if it actually does everything as it should be done. So save, exit and actually the program is called TMP right now and I have an error line 31. Let's actually find this error Oh, that was lucky. Okay. What is the problem? I do not see the problem. Not yet, at least. Well, damn. Let's actually try the program once again. TMP. Unexpected symbol. I think I know what this could be. Ah, yeah, I forgot to sneak one. Yeah, uh, doing mistakes like that can be can be quite devastating. So yeah, now it should work. Save, exit, and call TMP, and it will display basically everything. And uh, seems like there is a slight problem. Uh, where is it? Oh, silly me! Yes, of course. Yeah, I checked the grid position, but I didn't actually set the mine to a proper position. So this is debugging for you guys. It can happen that you do mistakes, and if you do, well, don't panic. Just uh, be cool and check out what the what the error could be. So yeah, grid position has now is now you. Save, exit, and now TMP should work as it should. Yep, it will display every single mine. So we have one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mines, just as we wanted. So yeah, that will be all for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like, subscribe, 
If you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever goes through your mind, let me know in the comment section. So if you have any game you want me to make, let me know please, I am interested in your opinion. And since this is the end, I will say goodbye, and see you next time.